OMG. What is going on here? It's all gone. What is all this? This thing is rough. It gets worse up here. And look at that. Almost everything is gone. I have no idea why. Well, for those of you that don't already know, um, we're having a makeover. We are actually having a makeover. I'm not making this up. That's why everything is down. Um, some of you guys might already know this because I announced it on Instagram. Um, and I kind of hinted the makeover in the last video with the ladder and the bundles of plastic. <sighs> but anyways, um, you'll see more of that as we go further into the year. Um, so what's going to happen is that all this green that you see right here, that is all going away. It's just going to be primer when we get to, um, it's, it's just going to be primer actually for a couple months. And then we're thinking October, November ish, we should have a final color decided and then I have five different color choices. Um, I don't know where most of them went, but I found one of them. And this one is called Shutter Gray. It's more of a lark dark gray. And I thought I had a harbor mist one somewhere. There it is. Flint gray. It's more of a harbor mist. And once again, there are 50 shades of gray, in case you guys don't already know. And, um, well, we're trying... I picked five of those, and now uh, I'm going to zero. To uh, um, I thought I had a couple. I had three other ones. I don't know where they went now. I think there's another one called Summer Storm. I think I might be going with that one, but I really do not know. But anyways, um, welcome back to my channel. This is week number twenty-eight. Now, as of the day you're viewing this video, um, um, a premiere is going to be going up on my channel as well, uh, link in description, and that will be for next week's video. It's really cool, so you're going to want to stick around for that one. But other than that, today's video, I wanted to do this video back in April or May-ish, somewhere around there. But because of the coronavirus pandemic, that ended up being impossible, so... And because... Let me get you caught up on... Um, what's been going on over here. Um, so, as of 9th of June 2020, um, San Diego has opened their boardwalks back up. So... So we'll finally get to make that exploration video that I've been always wanting to um, take you guys along with. Uh, hopefully um, all goes to well and hope everybody is still following those physical distancing guidelines for a little while longer, but I'm guessing we'll see you guys there. Well this is the scene today. Once again they just reopened this area up after like three months. so. I'm gonna go over here. Let's go on this church. Yep. Lovely. So, San Diego is probably best known for its beaches. And there are plenty of them, but I'm just gonna focus on the two central beaches, Pacific and Mission beaches, respectively. And we're starting at Pacific Beach where we get onto the oceanfront walk, which is a unique boardwalk. It allows many forms of transportation except for e-scooters e and e-bikes. 
um, e-scooters are prohibited. And this is the scene um, on the first day that the boardwalks reopened after this pandemic. Um, everybody's physically distant. And this is a more sparsely out portion of the beach. It's usually sparse. It's only dense during like the peak times and that's usually like Labor Day and uh, the spring and summer bank holidays. But all this physical distancing, it gets a bit complicated when we get to Mission Beach, which we'll show you in a minute. Um, Ocean Beach is to the south of here, but I did not get that in this video. And I did not get La Jolla Cove, so that will be for another video. Um, I do have footage from Imperial Beach in the far south, and Oceanside in the far north. And those will be some archival footage, and I will present that at, another, at a later date. Just not this video. So we will skip you right down to uh, Mission Beach where we have some more history to go through. Alright, so I hope everybody enjoyed the whole presentation. Here is number 15. When you first arrive at Mission Beach, this is probably the first tower you'll see when you're coming on West Mission Bay Drive. As you can see over there. Now here is Belmont Park and at the time of this video it is currently closed still. No reopening date has been set for this park yet. And that is actually one of the oldest known roller coasters still standing. That area is still closed, but there's a roller coaster right there with a lot of history in it. I'll let this next voiceover explain that. Well, here we are. We're at South Mission now. Right here is a jetty that splits and enters into Mission Bay and also splits Mission Beach from Ocean Beach. Which is Tower 23 is actually just hibernating there. As you can see, there's single digits in Ocean Beach, but starting at Mission Beach, it just goes straight to double digits. So. Here's a little fun fact, um, the Tower 23 Resort in Pacific Beach is nowhere near the actual Watchtower number 23, which at the time of this video, as I already mentioned, is still hibernating it down in South Mission. It is typically installed in Pacific Beach between Watchtower numbers 22 and 24. The Tower 23 Resort itself is actually closer to Tourmaline Watchtower number 26. All right, we're back at Tower 13. 13 is the busiest tower out of all of them out here in San Diego beaches, actually. And, and because of the time of day, this is where we're going to be concluding today's video. We'll see you back home. Let's roll the term of the week. The term of the week is buoy. It's either an anchored float that serves as a navigation mark to show reefs or other hazards, or even for mooring of boats, or a device that's commonly used for water-based search and rescue. There is no outro this week because I'm currently remaking it in time for summer, which officially starts next week. So thanks for watching and we will see you guys next week.